Welcome to our tutorial about determining skin tones for silicone products tailor-made by Autobuck Service Fabrication for your users. I'll be using a partial hand prosthesis to demonstrate how to determine skin tones for these silicone products. This procedure can also be used for silicone partial foot prostheses as well as for covers for arm or leg prostheses. I'll demonstrate step-by-step step how to determine colors for a classic partial hand prosthesis. We will be identifying three skin tones, but first we need to make a few preparations. To properly determine skin tones, the room must be well lit by natural daylight and artificial ceiling lights. To determine skin tones, I need the color determination kit including the color ring and the circular lamp and the color determination sheet, as well as the camera and order documents. The user should be in a relaxed position with their elbows slightly higher than their hands, which are resting on the table. I'll show you how quickly skin color changes. When one hand is raised and the other is next to the body, blood circulation creates very different colors in each hand. In other words, color determination represents just one moment in time. I will now determine the three skin tones. To do this, I move the color ring over the back of the hand on the contralateral side and the affected side. I start with the base color. I have already pre-selected the base color, which should always be set at thickness 3, which is this area of the sample, on the back of the hand, between the joints, and on the affected side as well. In this case, I also mix the character color, which I have already selected here in the joints using thickness 1 on the color sample, with the base color on the back of the hand to smooth out inconsistencies in the skin. Please turn your hands up. You can use the character color for the fingertips as well as for the palm of the hand. I have chosen a light tone for the palm, the third color. To double check the entire selection, I use the circular lamp to compare colors. Good! The light palm of the hand and the character skin tone for the fingertips are consistent. Please turn your hands down. The base tone on the back of the hand and the affected side match the character color for the joints and the back of the hand. After all the skin tones are selected, I photograph the hands with the color samples. Be sure the camera is set properly. Both hands should be resting on the color determination sheet so that at least one of the color scales is visible. I take the photos through the circular lamp using the bird's eye perspective. I make sure to photograph both hands from all sides. I follow the same procedure with the color samples which are placed right side down on the back of the hand. Do remember to take a close-up of the fingernails, without nail polish, please. Finally, I enter the skin tones I've identified on the respective color determination sheet using colored pencils to sketch the base, character, and palm colors. I also enter the color number and intensity on the color determination sheet. We've finished the color determination process for the silicone partial hand prosthesis. I can send all the order documents with the proper colors to Autobuck Service Fabrication.